sensors online. Weapons online. All systems nominal. This is a match I did with something other than a Cicadia. I know, this will be shocking. It's actually a catapult. It's one I, I like. It's a fun variation to play and round with. It has two uh, ballistic hard points and four energy. At any rate, I'm running around the far right flank. This mech's top speed is, sev is about 70 kilometers. It feels so slow to me compared to my Cicadia and other mechs that I've run. They have a few support, mostly are behind me. Most are strung around to the left behind me. I'm on the extreme flank trying to work around towards the enemy base and see if I can get some flanking positions on them. Have some support from some fast light guys, which I appreciate. I thought this battle was a good illustration for why not to be alone. You need to stay in groups in this game and work together. And when you're in a, a fast mech, you can get away a, a little bit with that because you're able to disengage more Base readily. The bases come under attack. A fast opponent mech probably swung around the other flank and got on the base, which is a favored maneuver of mine as well. Coming up on their flank, see their positions, mostly base they're towards captured. the middle hill, where our guys, the bulk of our fighters are. Take a few long-range shots with my Ultra AC-5s. I find the Ultra AC-5 is acquired. a good weapon if used properly. You just kind of... Base. Pick and choose your shots, and don't hold down the auto shot very often. You can see it comes up and jams periodically on me. But if you just give one or two shots real quick and just pump the trigger a few times, you'll get a faster firing rate than the AC-5 can. But if left full auto, it will go very much like the Auto Cannon 2 speed. You can see a few loners on the side here, group peop people are ganging up on. I'm going to come around this hill, trying to see if I either flank them from behind, cut off retreat. Again, got that Jenner helping me out. Jenners are a very good support. They, I find they work very well in close. It's an opposing enemy, enemy Cicadia. Do a couple long range shots on them. We have a light mech on the their base. They're trying. To, he's coming back, trying to prevent the calf. I'm going to move up behind him. But you can see the earlier the lone mechs there just quickly got mopped up with everyone else jumping on him. There's not much over there. There's another guy coming in. He's a little chewed up. Start unloading into him, and he's gone quick. the Cicadia up here and that other Jenner. He's made a couple mistakes. He is alone, but that's not as much of a problem if he watched his escape efforts. The thing is, is he went on terrain that limited his maneuver his speed. The terrain also limited his escape options and he didn't bail right away. I love watching the mechs fall. I think that's so f the the way they did the physics in the game are just so fun. Enemy base is being captured. But he didn't escape right away. He went up on terrain that limited his maneuverability and speed, and I just unloaded into him. I actually fired on him, stopped, fired on him, stopped, because I wasn't sure if he was shut down or dead. Enemy base is being and when captured. he did fall, he fell pretty bad. This battle, we're capping, me and the general over here are capping. Due to the capping the opponents did already on the base, Enemy and now they're back is on it, base is it kind captured. of comes and goes. This one's kind of funny because it, it's so close right to the end. Uh, we've taken a lot more of theirs out of the match, so they most of ours and theirs are kind of embroiled in a big Enemy brawl in the middle of the map, and they're not really captured. able to disengage to either save their own base or try to Base put more people on capturing capture. ours. 
and put some pressure. And it's just a matter of seizing the base. It's not a very impressive base match, base but I thought it captured. illustrated well with captured. the light mech, fast mechs specifically, why they shouldn't be alone and the problems they're in. So if you're ever in a situation where you're running a fast mech, captured. you see him taking, see one just take off, go off in pursuit and follow Enemy and be in support. Base is being captured. The two of you will do much better. Base Personally, I think captured. fast mechs work best in groups of three, but that's personal opinion. Uh, we'll call that it for this match. With this battle, I would not call this my finest moment. Understand that the mech, uh, this is the first battle I had in this particular Cicadia variant, so it was had none of the skills unlocked it was very stiff and clunky and so I'm just trying to get through here whenever you're in a resource game it doesn't tell you the casualty counts it only tells you what your condition is if you hit the, the beam for the map it'll show you your unit stats and by this point of the match the team that I was on was pretty beat up and I wasn't sure if the other team was in equal condition but I know we weren't in great. But I quickly surmised that indeed we were in really bad shape. Like when I got jumped by these two cicadians. Now, I'm used to doing this to other players, so I don't think it's very fair for them to do it to me. But this is one of the first times I've seen two cicadians run in a team. Because normally, well, cicadians themselves were pretty rare in the game for quite some time. I'll just assume that it's because of my great skill in running the Cicadia and made everyone else jump onto the Cicadia bandwagon. But most of the time, I would only see one other Cicadia in a match at most. Then I got these two jumping on me, barely maneuver my mech, and one perpetually behind me. I can't outrun them. I can't outmaneuver them. I can't outfight them. And they, they just don't have the courtesy to leave me alone. I mean, it's very rude of them. But you can see how effective they are in a group. Uh, no matter what I do, one of them gets around behind me. No matter how I maneuver, I try to go after one. I basically have to divide my fire between the two while they concentrate their fire on me. So I, even if I was, I would basically have to fire twice as much in order to stay even with them. It was just very difficult. I was running pulsed la medium lasers at least, so I was doing a little bit more damage. Don't know what their full weapon loadouts were. I know some had were medium lasers, some were small pulsed lasers. Having all sorts of heat problems as I desperately try to fight with these guys. If I take off and try to just run, they're gonna both be behind me, just shooting me in the back. So it really is quite a a uh, match. And it really does illustrate the effectiveness of small, fast mechs in, spe in numbers. Now, all of these uh, team-up situations that I'm showing have been with random players that I've been teamed up with on the same team. Due to schedule situations, I usually can't run with my friends in a group, which is, you know, hurts my overall performance, because that's when you get some really good uh, scores. But here I am in a Cicadia with this random uh, Jenner on the opponent's uh, it's a resource game, the Conquest we're on their start position and suddenly as we're capping this opposing catapult came up and I'm a little not sure which to do, what's he gonna do he stands and fights, I make a pass to exit kind of making him think I'm gonna leave but I, a really good maneuver I find is just make a pass act like you're leaving, come around, and they almost always ignore you. But he is so preoccupied by taking out that Jenner that I can just come up and just start tearing him apart. This next version I was running some small lasers and medium pulses, I believe. He may have all been uh, small, and, uh, small lasers and small pulse lasers, actually. Let me just run in there, take him down. He's completely ignoring me. I just blow through his rear armor and finish him off. Here we have an interesting match. 
number of things happened, but there's no real way to sugarcoat it. The team fell apart. I ha did a big flanking captured. maneuver around, uh, hoping to run into the enemy force. I didn't, couldn't find them. Came upon their base. By the time I got to their base, running at full throttle, I was one of three survivors, Anything and they had captured. nine players left. I mean, they complete blowout total collapse of uh, working in as a team or anything. So that's where we kind of pick up here. And I started capping their base. base. Being captured. This uh, spider came in trying to stop me. He came in alone. Now what I was trying to do is stay in the capture air zone as much as possible because when he's in there with me the capture stops. In the brief moments where he leaves, I'm able to capture just a little bit more. So he, at best, slowed it down. Then I got some help. Another Cicadia and a Blackjack came in. And the three of us started working as a team against the Spider. And the Spider, in spite of the fact that he was very fast, very agile, probably the hardest to hit mech in the game, three on one, and I made sure to stay in the capture zone as much as possible, offering what help I could. Just kept chiseling away. The rest of the team, I don't know if they split off with some coming back and some going on. He very well may have been the only fast mech on the team. I don't know if there were two others that had already been taken out. This was what happened in the on their side of the match. But coming in alone wasn't the best use, because he just really wasn't able to do much. And there he lost his leg, and then he's down, leaving us to just capture the base. In a little bit, some of their players do come in, and, and I think one of the reasons that you teams will fall apart and you don't see the cooperation is people trying to be the man, the hero, the one that wins. You know, I got this, you know. And that is detrimental to success in a game. It is a team game. It is something you have to work together. Because all we did here, they're coming in doing some long-range shots, just find something sturdy to hide behind and avoid the fire, hucker down and just wait it out. And we got the cap, seizing victory from the jaws of defeat, literally. Um, we We were... If, they'd if they came in together, if they just had two fast mechs come in together, it would have been a different match. If they had uh, gotten some faster mechs to come in sooner, it would have been a different match. Because we couldn't really stand up toe-to-toe -to -toe with them. And so it's an unimpressive stat just because the only one I fought was that spider. But nonetheless, it's, it's interesting. Uh, I thought it was another good illustration of teamwork. So, in conclusion, what have we learned? Well, truth be told, sticking together is a lot more than just hanging out together. There has to be some coordination and a willingness to not be the person who's going to give the killing blow to take down the enemy for bragging rights, because usually when you try to do that, it doesn't go well for you. In this match, I just peeked around the corner, chasing a Cicadia, and found an atlas and a couple other big guys. I quickly fall back, trying desperately to not die, because that's not fun. Got an atlas and a few others of my of my own that I'm working with. Come forward, try to pick a shot, pull back, hoping that they don't single me out and start grouping their fire. Usually they go after the biggest, toughest target, so if you're not that biggest, toughest target, you're probably not going to draw their fire. That's why I like being a little Cicadia in this type of match, because they ignore me and I can get around behind them and do all these things. So you see the Atlas go down, all grouping their fire. We didn't lose one in this exchange yet, as the three of us, there might be a few more behind us, I'm not sure off the top of my head what happened in this match. We start pushing them back, and they fall apart, because they weren't grouping their fire. Uh, working together is something that you just have to pick another player and say, I'm going to help him, I'm going to work with him, I'm going to do what he does, 
at least in this situation, once we're through the tunnel and get out here, you can split up, go do your own things, but you still want to stay together and concentrate your fire and do things. That's probably the most important uh, situation, because inevitably in any team game, the one that coordinates the best wins. It's as simple as that. You could three mechs can take out five if the five just come one at a time around a corner, just start slamming them, and they fall apart. Uh, that's all for now. See you guys around.